Hi everybody, it's Jerry Cates. Welcome to Weekend Wisdom. Tonight I'm doing something a little different. I'm outside in my meditation place. And tonight's talk is about meditation. Why, me why meditate? Anyway, let me give you a little view around to my beautiful little sanctuary here. Okay, all right. So why meditate? Well, we know it decreases stress, anxiety. Um, people meditate to uh, enhance our spiritual practice. It helps us be present. And it's more, it's not something anecdotal. It's not something you do afterward. You do it, I mean, you can. Like say maybe you're, hi Alex, maybe you're, let me think here having a lot of stress and anxiety you can start meditating but if you're not already med I mean if you're not already meditating but if you're if you want to have more relaxation and the other benefits which I'm gonna mention then make it a practice so here's some reasons well we know that successful people uh, meditate they tout you know that they meditate they talk about how they it, it meditate we know that it helps with sleep but not only the eight hours of sleep that you get a deeper rest, it helps with cognitive function. So it helps with the REM sleep and then cognitive function. And it turns out that it can help with, hi Lori, with sleep problems. That Let's see, there was a research done, after eight weeks those with meditation training had less total wake time during sleep and they had reduced severity of sleep problems. It um, also helps you make more melatonin, and melatonin is the amino acid that your body makes, and it helps you relax. I, as a healthcare provider, uh, for uh, a way of helping people get sleep naturally, would recommend it. Um, so, but you make more meditation helps you make more serotonin. I mean, uh, melatonin. So, okay, and then make room for happiness. Uh, there was a 2005 study at Harvard Medical School that found meditation increases the, th the thickness of your prefrontal cortex, which is the area of your brain associated with attention and self-awareness. It also reduces employee stress and burnout. And there was a teacher, or a study of teachers um, who were uh, teachers of children with behavioral problems, and they were treated with transcendental meditation, and um, they reported less stress less depression and lower, low, uh, overall, lower overall burnout. Okay, now, how about stress eating? Anybody do any stress eating? Research, it's researchers at UC San Francisco studied a group of women and to test if meditation could help prevent the overeating. So they didn't prescribe, the scientists didn't prescribe a diet specifically. Instead, they taught mindful eating and had the participants meditate for 30 minutes a day. And what happened? Well, the control group, which is the group that didn't have any changes, they actually gained weight, and the treatment participants maintained their weight, but they lowered their cortisol levels. Now, cortisol is your stress hormone, but here's, this is really interesting. Higher reduction in cortisol and stress also showed higher reduction in abdominal fat. So I know that when someone's stressed, we hold on to that abdominal fat when our cortisol level's high. So it reduces cortisol, Re reduces pain. John Kabat-Zinn, who heads the Center for Mindfulness in uh, Medicine in the University of Massachusetts Medical School, back in the 80s, he did this thing called, uh, let's see, mindfulness-based stress reduction, and it was to improve pain symptoms and quality of life for chronic pain patients. So, and it did, and even four years later, it did. And this program is still in effect today. It was it's so um, successful. So researchers had found, or let's see, they had people to participate in a four-day mindfulness-based um, training, and the participants, even in that four-day, this is more recently, uh, produ or reported less pain intensity and unpleasantness. There also their MRIs, which is brain imaging, showed a reduction in pain-induced cerebral blood flow during meditation sessions. 
So there's some stuff to back it up. Okay, anxiety. Focusing on all the things that are terrible that might happen to us, but often don't. That's anxiety, right? And it can cause our bodies a lot of stress. Dr. Elizabeth Hodge, who is a psychiatrist, uh, assistant professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School, found that meditation could help those with generalized anxiety disorder, a condition that's marked for, uh, with hard to control worry, sleep problems, and irritability, there was reduction in it. Let me say hi to some people. Hi, Teresa, from the old neighborhood. Hey, Steve, from my Sonora friends, and Dave, and there's Lori and Alex. Hi. Cuz, <laughs> my cousin. Okay, so we did anxiety. How about smile more? Now, I can give you a pill as a healthcare provider. I could give you a pill or I could give you some things to do. Unfortunately, a lot of people wanted the pill because they weren't willing to do what it took or to do to change things. Now let me talk a little bit about that. When I have somebody who came into my office and was complaining of anxiety or stress or, and or depression, which they're usually tied in together, if it's a situational thing, I would give them tools. I might put them on a, an antidepressant for a period of time to help them gain the tools so that they could get off of it. Because once you're on an antidepressant, after two years, it's a lifetime commitment. It's a lot harder to get you off. So the idea is to get you on, give you the, the uh, tools and skills you need to help, uh, help you have a better control and a better life. Um, but too many just take the pill. And they have side effects, sexual side effects, dry mouth, um, all kinds of side effects. So I'm giving you some tools here and, and look into it. Okay. so. Meditation helps us gain an awareness of our mind. So um, we see negative thoughts and see those as thoughts of that's not me. So meditation gives you an opportunity to step back and say, ah, I'm thinking that thought again. That's not who I want to be. When we don't have that opportunity to calm everything down with meditation, we get caught up in it. And I know, you know, that's that stinking thinking where, you know, you put yourself down or it's you, you get yourself in a tizzy. You know, just it's a it's a circle in the drain kind of thing. There's nothing positive about it. Let's see what else we have. Relaxing your body. Uh, relaxing your body and mind with meditation helps you stay centered when you encounter the uh, everyday stressors. So rush hour traffic, conflict with someone, whatever it is. So if you've got this already grounded in that practice of relaxation, you, it's like I've got this in my tool belt. This is who I am. I'm, I'm better at, I'm more grounded when I'm handling things. Instead of reacting, I'm more in creation. I'm, I'm centered. Yeah, you know, I had, uh, I think it was Mary Morrissey who said, the opposite of react is create. Yeah, I like that. So, somebody's calling me. Don't call me. <laughs> Am I still on? Yes. Okay. The opposite of relaxation is fight or flight. Now, my nurse friends out there know what fight or flight is. It's that, like, imagine you sense danger. There's three dark figures coming at you down the... Can you guys hear me? Can you guys put in there? Can you hear me? I keep getting somebody um, writing to me. Can you hear me? Teresa, tell me yes or no. I'm going to finish and then we'll see where we're at. Uh, fight or flight or relaxation. And then uh, love life. Okay, good. Thanks, Lori. Your partner um, will thank you if you... Um, because when you meditate, you can better recognize your own emotions, their emotions. You tune in to, to others and yourself. And you're more grounded and more able to express what it is you need or understand what they need. So the communication it, it improves. And success in your life. You know, it says here that the Beatles played 1,200 concerts before they were known internationally. 
So you can, you can do things repetitiously. We know that world-class athletes and top managers and world-class performers all have shown a um, high level of brain integration. This means that their brains are wired with strong connections between different areas. And the thing about meditation is, a neuroscientist, Fred Travis, says that, it's a, that meditation is a fire starter, that it, it connects the parts of the brain. One more page here. So a study from Harvard Medical School demonstrated that meditation causes changes in brain waves that actually improve the brain's function. You can find success in any area of your life if you just think of all the time and think of all the time you'll save. So meditation. Hey, Pam. Meditation. In my um, Facebook group, there's a meditation on ideal body image. You can go to YouTube and meditate and look for meditation. Google YouTube meditation five minutes if you want to just get started. If you don't think you can sit there for 10 minutes. Uh, and get a guided meditation. I love guided meditation. So meditation, um, anxiety, but YouTube meditation. So go find some. Um, oh, I wanted to share with you. Oh, I did bring it. So this last week, I don't know if you can see it. I published my first book. Now this is a book of motivational quotes and there are two articles that I wrote in there. And in the last part of it, there's a dedication to my husband and a quote I wrote. And I gotta tell you, it almost brings tears to my eyes to, I've always wanted to write a book. And I realized this is a book of quotes. I didn't write all of this. I gathered them with my coach. But now I feel like I'm ready to write that book, to, to tell the story that I need to tell to help empower. So if you would like to get a copy of this book, you can go on Amazon and just Google inspirations comma Jerry Cates and it'll come up. But I want to encourage you to think about what it is you want to do. What's in your life that you're yearning for? And then click that button, get my free ebook, join my Facebook group, but really important, get a free breakthrough call with me and I'll help you take a look at the negative talk take a look at what it is you really want and give you tools on making it happen. No obligation. Just book it. And I've got workshops coming up and I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Anyway, meditate because it's a way of loving and nurturing yourself highly. Hi, Sharon. Meditate. Oh, my cousin Tracy. Hello. Kate. Oh, I got two cousins tonight. Right on. <laughs> So meditate. It's a way of nurturing yourself. There are, I've mentioned a lot of the benefits of meditation. Like I said, go on YouTube and um, Google it or, you know, meditate five minutes, meditate 10 minutes. You don't have to do it for an hour a day. I do it for 10 minutes. I set my alarm or I do a guided meditation that is about 10 minutes long. And then I journal. I write ideas that come to me and then I do my affirmations. So anyway, thank you for joining me. This is Jerry Cates, your Courage and Grace Coach. Meditate. Make that breakthrough session appointment with me, will ya?